kick racism out of football has the full backing of the professional footballers. Sol Campbell and Thierry Henry added their considerable weight to football's latest drive against racism. People really need to realise how important rage game can be. We're all in to kick it out. Images that will be seen around the world. We could put an end to it. I can't believe it was 30 years. I'm unbelievably proud of Ticket Out and the 30 year journey. The work that Kick It Out does and will continue to do, I'm sure, is vitally important. 2001 was a critical time because who were the biggest power? It was the players. The players actually leveraging their own profile and power, wearing t-shirts, sending that message out to say, Kick It Out, it's unacceptable. Kick It Out has become a leading voice in the fight against discrimination in football, with 68% of fans recognising it as an organisation involved in this fight. Raise Your Game brings together a collection of people who have a passion and love for football. Raise Your Game and Kick It Out have had a tremendous impact on my life and have definitely been the steer to the point that I am at in my career. The one thing that Kick It Out really does is it allows us who have benefited to be able to pay back to ensure that there is diversity across all levels. 73% of fans believe football has become more inclusive since Kick It Out was formed, with 79% of those who've heard of Kick It Out stating it has contributed to this change. Five percent of those who have heard of Kick It Out say it has made them more likely to report discrimination. And 59% had confidence that a report would be taken seriously. Players just didn't feel like it was enough. Everything was probably well intentioned, but actually for me there's always been a question between okay what's performative and what's actual impact. And I think where it doesn't really have any impact on behaviour, that's where I think Kick It Out could have done better. I thought Kick It Out was starting to become victims of its own success because it raised the expectation, it raised the bar. So I think that was part of the modernization of Kick It Out, how it had to evolve and understanding and listening to players, this is why they feel, how they feel. The majority of fans say there's less discrimination in football now than 30 years ago, or when they first became a football fan. Herman Oosley's legacy is a change agent. Over the last 50 years in this country, I don't think there's been a single individual that's made the impact across society, community and football the way Herman has. 74% of fans state they are more concerned about discrimination now than 30 years ago or when they first became football fans. Among fans who've heard of Kick It Out, 92% attribute this change, at least in part, to the work of Kick It Out. Look at this, a powerful image to show football's social conscience. UEFA strongly condemns the disgusting racist abuse directed at several England players on social media. The best thing that I ever did was speak out. I am hopeful that we do have a top flight Premier League footballer that is able to come out. 84% of fans believe there is more that needs to be done to combat discrimination in professional and grassroots football. My hope for Kick It Out is that you carry on on the path of solution first. What are you doing to hold 
all these organizations, UEFA, FIFA, Premier League, EFL, accountable when these things happen. It's about accountability because that's the only way in society people go, you cannot do that without consequence. If there's one hope I really want for Kick It Out, it's sustainability. It's understanding data and insights they have become so relevant more than ever today as players in organisations, the measurement of effectiveness, that's so important. We need to work as a collective in order for us to continue to see representation and that can't be only one person's task. We need people like yourselves to ensure that you are determined, you remain bold and resilient. And if we look at the journey now, there's been some excellent work done, but it's also about modernising itself for the long haul. And I feel that Kick It Out is well equipped more than ever to lead and be at the very vanguard of change.